Use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Also check out my Roblox merch and my real life merch. These are all of my social media accounts and I have no backups. And my Discord server will be linked in the description. Subscribe and enjoy the video. Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is highly requested. I'm finally going to be raiding some of my subscribers' Bloxburg houses. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings at all, but I feel like it'd be best for me to be honest. I will be raiding on four factors. The exterior, the interior, the color scheme, and the functionality of the house. This will all be on a 1 to 5 rating scale, 1 being the lowest, 5 being the highest. So without further ado, let's get started. I think we're going to go this way first and work our way back around. We are on a pizza side currently. So I'm going to park my golf cart over here. Hi. Okay, so right off the bat, um, I would give the exterior a... Four out of five. I think it could definitely use maybe some more plants or something, especially like right here. That's all I'm gonna say for now, but I do like the color scheme. It's definitely like very like earthy and nature-y. So let's go inside. All right, it's a bit crammed in here, but you know, you gotta work with the space that you have. So this is like a little entryway. It's a tiny home. Okay, seeing a lot of greens and browns. I would probably Probably give the interior <gasps> maybe this should be fixed but you know it's really minor <laughs> let's go see the upstairs before I actually give it a score I think this house is definitely functional so I'd give that a five out of five because it has everything that you need the color scheme I'd give it a five two because it's not my style but you know I think it still looks really good some of the stuff isn't colored though but yeah it has everything that we need uh, there's no pictures either, so definitely needs some work. Um, wait, what's in here? Ah, kind of crammed. Uh, we have this bathroom. Oh, I do like the bathroom. This is really cute. And I feel like I don't see anybody using this specific pattern a lot, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna go back downstairs and look at the exterior one more time. Is there a backyard or anything, or is it just this? Well, I think if there was like a backyard or something, that'd make it a bit better. <laughs> Not them jumping in the window. But yeah, so my final ratings for this house. The exterior, I'll give it a 4 out of 5. The interior... And the decorations, I'd give it a 4 out of 5 too because it's not completely finished. The color scheme, 4. And for the functionality, definitely a 5 out of 5. It's a really functional tiny home. Thank you. It's really cute though. Alright, so let's move on to house number 2. Okay, I'm gonna park here. Hi! Thank you. Okay, right off the bat, the exterior of the house, um, it's not completely finished, I don't think. And there could definitely be some more landscaping out here. Let's see, this is a little pond. I'm gonna give the exterior a 3 out of 5, but it does have a lot of potential and there's a lot of space to work with. So let's head inside and see what it looks like. Maybe some more flowers around here too. Okay, so definitely very, very spacious. Well, I like the paintings. So this is a summer vibe. This is a little area for the kids. This is a huge table. I would also give the interior maybe like a two out of five because there's so much space and I feel like we don't have enough furniture to have this much space. I feel like it could be a little bit smaller. There's an office, which is really nice. Definitely has some potential too. Uh, this is like a butler's pantry. And then we have some stairs. There's no railing on the sides. Would I say this house is functional? Um, yeah, I give it a five out of five because it does still have everything that you need. What is this? Uh, I don't even know what color that is. Is that seashell? It looks like seashell, but I don't think it is. So like I said, a lot of space to work with. These bookshelves could be uh, filled up a bit more. We have another bedroom in here. Oh, this looks like 
my favorite room out of the entire house. Definitely more pops of colors in here too, which is really nice. But for the color scheme, I'd probably give it four out of five. I think it looks really nice, but maybe a few more pops of colors or at least some more plants too. But thank you so much for showing me your house. It looks great. If you ever finish it, I'd love to see it. For the exterior, I'd give it a three. For the interior, I'd give it a two. For the color scheme, I'd give it a four. And for the functionality, I'd give it a five. Now we're going on to this house. <gasps> Ooh, pretty tight driveway. I think this color scheme really fits my style. Hi! I think I'd give the color scheme a 5 out of 5. But remember, a 5 out of 5 for me might be a 1 out of 5 for someone else. So it's really just up to your own opinion. But yeah, 5 out of 5 right off the bat. Okay, um, I'm gonna check out the garage. <gasps> This is so cute. I normally don't use pink lighting, but I think this looks really, really nice. I would say that there could be like more flowers out here just to tie in everything. Like maybe more of these flowers spread out over here just to add a, you know, a bit more decoration. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. I love this painting. I love paintings like this that tie in all the colors in the house. I think I'd give the interior a four out of five because there is a lot of space maybe we could add a few more things maybe like a little island like an island bar i think that'd be really nice let's go in here this is the pantry why is there a couch in the pantry i'm not exactly sure but i do like the wallpaper i think this house is really really cute i do like the stairs too i feel like i never see these stairs in any builds and i definitely never use them it is a bit bright right up here let's just turn off the light i think that looks a lot better maybe some linen lights would work better <gasps> okay for the bedrooms let's see the other ones i'd give the bedrooms a five out of five i think that they look really nice this house is definitely functional too you have all the stuff that you need so that would get a five out of five for me i think she has plans on making a backyard because she has this door here okay so for this house for the exterior i'd give it a four out of five for the interior i'd give it a four out of five um, throughout the house except the bedrooms the bedrooms definitely get a five out of five color scheme a five out of five and functionality a five out of five i think this is our best rating so far um also if you didn't notice i'm kind of losing my voice so that's why i am kind of talking a bit lower wait this is so cute i'm gonna give this exterior a five out of five right off the bat i think it looks really really nice hi thank you Okay, let's go in. This is so cool. There's like a private driveway. The trash cans are out. Definitely a five out of five. The color scheme too. At least on the outside, five out of five. Wait, I wanna see the garage. Actually, maybe there's a way to get in the garage from the inside. Let me just follow her. <gasps> Whoa, this looks so realistic. <gasps> And then we have this, which is like kind of raised off of the ground too. Okay, interior, five out of five as well. This is so cute. I'd love to have a house like this. You guys already know my style, but like I could go for a vibe like this. Let's go in here. Oh my God, look, it's the pantry and like a little mud room. And then we have the two car garage. Now let's go back in here. There's a basement too. There's a lot to check out. Whoa, this is the office. I feel like this is a house you'd see in like Texas or something, <laughs> but we have the laundry room. Wow. The functionality is obviously going to be a 5 out of 5 as well. Let me check out the downstairs first. Living room. Whoa. Yeah, 5 out of 5. Let's check out the basement, actually. This is like a homeschool room with the air conditioner, too. Not a lot of people use that in their builds. They're obviously not functional items. This looks like it's it's Aquila inspired, which is really, really sweet. A birthday party room or just like an event room. This is nice, too. 
I feel like it could maybe use some banners. And head back upstairs. My bills are being paid. My pockets are crying right now. But okay, up here we have like a little hallway, maybe like a chill area. This is one of the bedrooms. I like the paintings. They definitely tie in with the color scheme. Uh, let's go in here. A bathroom, really cute. I like this towel idea. Let's go in here. A nursery. This is adorable. It's like woodland creatures. And then, I love stuff like this. This is adorable. Oh my gosh. I wanna like role play here. Oh my gosh, I think this might be one of my most favorite builds I've ever seen. And then this looks like it'd be a boy's room probably. But yeah, I think we saw everything in the house. Unless there's a backyard, I don't think there is. Thank you as well, it looks really beautiful. Look, even the pool, I didn't even get to check this out. It's getting late too. Okay, let me go ahead, get back in my golf cart. And I think this is gonna be the last house on this side. And I really, really wanted to see this house. Wow! I'll just park right here. Hello! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot that I didn't give the other house a rating at the end. But I think it was 5 out of 5 for everything. So let's go ahead and see this house. <gasps> Wait, let's look at the exterior one more time. This is nice. Uh, okay, okay, let's go in. Oh, oh, <gasps> no, it had so much potential on the outside. It's not finished on the inside, I don't think. This is a killer for me. It's when there's so much space, it just, it just doesn't look the best in my opinion. Um, like it's always nice having space, but this is like excessive. Okay, well, let's go in here. Once again, just a lot of space. The interior, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not really done, so I don't think I could judge it properly. There's a lot of cars. Okay. Um, yeah, I think this house is not completely finished, but it does have a lot of potential. I think it could look really, really good once it's done. I would like to see how this house looks when it's done, too. So if you have a Twitter, make sure you tag me if you finish it. But I love the closet idea. I wish I could have a walk-in closet in my house, but yeah, definitely not enough space for that. Uh, this is the master bedroom, the bathroom. I'd probably give the interior a two right now. I feel like it's just not fair for me to judge. Like I get the picture, but it's not done. This is another bathroom. The inside color scheme is kind of giving me confused vibes. Um, I feel like it gets like really bright and then over here it's just kind of like, I feel like it doesn't just, it doesn't tie in correctly. Something is just throwing me off a little bit. And then the floor too, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that one. But this, this is cute. Now I really like this. And then it's the furniture too. The furniture just does not match. Like it's the rustic look and then it's like modern over here. And then the kitchen is modern. It's kind of bothering me, I'm not gonna lie. And then the polka dots, see? And then the plaid. Okay, 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 okay. But I mean, we could all see the vision though. Like it looks really, it looks like it could be really good. The pool too, like this is so cute. Then you have the area where the kids can play. See, this is nice. I really like this. I feel like this house would be a lot better if it was downsized a little bit so everything could fit better. So much space. I wouldn't know what to do with this space. And I don't think she does either. Thank you so much for showing me. Okay, let's head downstairs and go over the full ratings of this house. Um, Where's the front door? So much space, I can't even tell. Okay, there we go. The sun will be coming up soon. But yeah, I'd give the exterior of this house a five out of five. It looks really good. The interior decorations, a two. It could use some work, maybe a little less space. But I would completely understand if she didn't want to rebuild this because it looked like it took a lot of time. The color scheme, it looked really good on the outside. I don't know if I'm changing my score or not, but 
The outside, I'd give it a five out of five. I think it looks really nice. The inside, like I said, kind of confused with the different patterns and stuff. I'd probably give it a one on the inside. And then the functionality, I would give it a five out of five because it definitely did have everything that you need. Okay, so I made it to Riverside and I'm gonna go here first because this is obviously calling my name. This is already a five out of five for me. This is so cute. It's like a pastel wonderland. And once again, this could be a five for me and like a one or a zero for somebody else that doesn't like pastel colors. So personal preference, y'all. Don't scream at me in the comments. Oh, is this the gate? This is the gate. There we go. <laughs> Hi. Oh my God. It's so cute. It looks like a townhouse and I love that. I love how there's like, it's like cluttered, you know what I mean? The cluttered look is kind of cute. If you do it right, you could definitely do it wrong. But let's go inside. Okay, so this is adorable. It is a little small in here. So I'm just gonna go in first person real quick to show you guys around a bit better. I love it though. I wish there was a little bit more space to walk around, just a little bit, but I think it looks really cute. Look at it, it's the unicorn build. What is this? <gasps> huh? I've never, is this a build out of the custom blocks? Whoa, that's so cool. Okay, the bathroom, here we go. Once again, just a little bit more space, but I'd give the interior probably a five out of five too. Just because you guys already know, this is this is my vibe. I love this a lot. The color scheme is great. That's gonna get a five out of five from me as well. Let's go in here. Oh, this is the master. Wait, is this the master? Oh, this is the master. I was not expecting that, I'm not gonna lie, but I think it looks really cute. Um. Oh, this is the kid's bedroom. <gasps> I didn't even realize. I didn't know what this was. Hold on. I need a better look at the bed. <gasps> look at the rug. How did she do that? That's so cute. Look, little iPad too. Look at the bed. It's like a princess bed. Wow. She really popped off. I feel like this place matches my outfit. <laughs> And I think that is gonna be it. Of course, thank you too. I didn't rate the functionality of it, but that's gonna get a five out of five. It has everything that you need. The color scheme, five out of five. Decorations and interior, five out of five. And the exterior, a five out of five too. Hi. <gasps> okay, five out of five for the exterior. Five out of five for the color scheme outside. This is like really sophisticated. We have a little sitting area, really nice. I like the cars too, how they're parked. Like I said, it's the little things for me. Look, this is, oh my gosh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, let's go in. <gasps> this kind of reminds me of the other house that we saw, just a little bit, just like the way this is set up. But I think it looks great. I like the piano right there. I think that this is gonna get a five out of five too for the interior. The colors just match in so well. Like even though there's different patterns, I just feel like it looks really good together. Wait, is this a closet? Oh, <gasps> whoa, it's an office. Oh my gosh, this is like a bathroom and also a laundry area. Oh my God, wait, I was not expecting that. It leads you all the way around. Okay, so here's the kitchen. This is the pantry. It's fully stocked, looks great. Here's the kitchen. Like they have some treats out too. Okay, I don't wanna go outside yet, but we have the living room. This is so beautiful. Did I miss this? What is this? Oh, it's a basement. Is it finished? Oh, okay. I'd probably put some decorations down here. The wallpaper looks great. Everything is tying in perfectly. Like, what? You guys are so talented. Oh, this is how you get down to the garage. I was kind of confused. Okay. So I'm guessing this is the other garage door. That's the only bedroom down here. Yeah, I feel like there definitely needs to be some more 
decorations, maybe some bookshelves or something. Let's go upstairs. This is nice too. I feel like nobody ever uses this either. Whoa, this is so beautiful. It's like a vintage bedroom. We have this closet area. I did not mean to grab that toy. The paintings all tie in perfectly. The nursery. Let's open up this. There's a balcony which is gorgeous. Smell of books. Yes, very sophisticated. Let's go in here. This is the bathroom. I'm obsessed with this build. I think this is gonna be another complete five out of five. You can already tell that this place is definitely functional. Um, backyard? Are you good? Let me see it from the back. I don't, I have to cut that out. Let's go back outside and talk about the ratings again. Thank you so much for letting me tour your house. Exterior, five out of five. Interior, five out of five. Color scheme, five out of five. And functionality, five out of five. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Thank you so, so much to all of the Aquilinators who joined today and let me rate their house. Once again, I was not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. I just thought I should be honest with my ratings. But as I kept saying, what might be a five to me might be a one to somebody else. And what might be a one to me might be a five to somebody else. So it's all up to your personal opinion. But you can still let me know what you thought about my ratings in the comment section. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Just watch me break.